Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Theme Park Arcade. I'm RJ. Thanks for joining us for our Star Wars Land preview. Shout out to all you Disney and Star Wars fans. If you have any thoughts or questions on A Galaxy's Edge, the new Star Wars Land being added to both Disneyland and Disney World in 2019, let us know in the comments section below. Your comment could be featured on an upcoming episode coming up exclusively here at the Theme Park Arcade very soon. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We have some huge videos on the way. Let's get into the preview. So when you first enter Star Wars Land, you're going to have two choices. You can enter the First Order entrance, or you can head towards the forested base of the Rebellion. So the First Order entrance is going to have a battle escape ride, while the Rebellion area will feature... The Millennium Falcon. We're going to have our first opportunity to fly the Millennium Falcon. So I should mention that the Disney World version of Star Wars Land, or A Galaxy's Edge, is actually going to have a fully immersive hotel. That hotel, at first, maybe it won't sound too exciting, but something I'm looking forward to is how they give you your own Star Wars outfit when you check in. So maybe your mom dresses up like Princess Leia. You can dress up like a Jedi Master. Maybe some people in your family won't be up for it, but I certainly will. I'm a Star Wars fanatic, so I think that sounds pretty cool. But if you stay at that hotel, it's going to enter right into a Galaxy's Edge. For everyone coming from either Disneyland or Hollywood Studios, that's where you'll make your choice. It'll read your magic band, which side of the entrance you enter, and I guess that's when you decide if you are going to enter the dark side. But as far as the rides are concerned, you have the Millennium Falcon ride. It sounds a little bit like Soarin', maybe Flight of Passage, how you'll have a screen all the way around the Millennium Falcon, and it looks like you're going to have one pilot and one person manning the guns, and then you'll have some other people sitting behind you. And then it's going to read whether you crash the Millennium Falcon or you come out victorious. That ride is going to have multiple endings, different things that can possibly happen. It sounds extremely cool, something unlike we've ever seen before. The Millennium Falcon attraction is set to feature a dogfight in space. So that has me a little bit worried. If I get matched up with a terrible driver, are we just going to end up spinning around in blackness for a while? I hope not. But remember, it is attached to your magic band, so you'll have a reputation. If you're a bad driver, then everyone's going to treat you like you should not drive the Millennium Falcon ever again. However, if you're a great driver, then all the cast members around a galaxy's edge are going to treat you like a true hero. The Battle Escape Ride will be set on board a Star Destroyer. You'll have the Rebellion versus the First Order. It will be a trackless ride system with chaos going on around you. And there's even rumors that you're going to have to get off your vehicle and get on a separate rideless track vehicle. So it sounds extremely exciting with all kinds of stormtroopers around you. They say it's going to have a bunch of animatronics and some of the stormtroopers will even be actors. This is the ride I am most excited for. We need a new great dark ride to be added to Disney World and Disneyland. And I think this is going to be it, guys. Let me know which ride are you more excited for. Another thing to be excited about is the Star Wars Cantina. Is Star Wars food going to be any good? I want to try the stuff that Rey eats at the beginning of A Force Awakens, where she adds the water to it. Hopefully, they'll have that at the Cantina. So between the two rides, the Cantina, probably some crazy shops, and of course the hotel in Disney World, it is really set to be the biggest addition that Disney has ever seen. Thanks again for joining up, guys. Star Wars Land is going to turn Hollywood Studios into the greatest theme park in the world. We have you covered on all things Star Wars as we count down towards Episode 8 and all things Disney World as we count down towards the 50th anniversary. Exciting stuff, guys. Thanks again for joining us here at the Theme Park Arcade. As always, may the Force be with you.